Hello and welcome to the second demonstration of the SNAP tools that we're building. The SNAP is a toolkit we're building to extend the Unity's 4.6 GUI that came out recently. I think everybody's been looking forward to that. We were quite pleasantly surprised about some things but we felt that there's some better tooling to manage the layout and code integration that we wanted to build and that's what SNAP UI is. So to start with quick recap in the last video I showed you how column and row layouts work. Column layout would find things, move them around. So as you can see, there's the text and there's an image. If I move the image above the text in this here, and I go back to the panel and I say do layout, they swap around. So pretty straightforward. And the panels work within each other. So there's a panel row test, which is laying out these two buttons. But today I'm going to show you a panel manager, which is responsible for managing a panel's position and scale. So first we add the panel manager to the root panel. And if you take a look, it's immediately draggable, it's told to kept in the screen, and the scaling is off because it's set to none. So if I hit run, I can now click on the panel and drag it around on the screen. It won't leave the screen. Of course, if we had a said keep, if we hadn't have said keep in screen, then you can move it off screen, but in all honesty, that doesn't seem like a very useful feature. So we'll almost always use it with this on, but just in case you have a reason why you like that, it's available. So now let's just talk about the scaling options that come with the panel manager. So at the moment our scaling type was set to none, so it did no scaling. And we have two options, zoom and layout. So if I select zoom, what will happen is when I scale the object, it will change the actual scale on the transform. However, you'll notice that our pivot is actually in the middle of the object. It doesn't matter where the pivot is. When you scale, it will keep the panel where you expect it to be on the screen. So when I hit run now, and I do the zoom, when I click on the edge here and I drag it out, you see that despite the fact the pivot's in the middle, the top left stays where it was. And that's part of the, that's part of the zoom, uh, part of the scale type design. You can grab it on the bottom and drag it out, but it'll still, it'll still zoom both because we've set it to proportional. When it hits the edge, it actually just scales out and becomes bigger. If we did the same thing with the proportional off on this particular zoom type, it does work. It does obviously drag the buttons down, so the text gets a bit bigger. And if that's what you want, then that's what you can do. But I don't think the zoom personally works without the proportional scale. So the last aspect of the panel manager that I want to show you tonight is the save position and size. So if you tick this on, and it does say size, just a little bit squished there, and we have to give it a name at this point. So I'm going to call this show panel save one. And this will now be saved into your player prefs. You can call functions to get the scales and sizes and then decide where you want to save this information yourself if player prefs is not your option but the default is player prefs so now if i hit play let's just switch this back to zoom and proportional when i hit play if i grab the panel and i move it down here and i say no it's too big i want this a little smaller in the corner and that's where the player wants it that's fine he stops playing obviously unity resets this information but when you hit run again it goes back to the location that was saved. So that's how the save system works in the panel manager. There is one aspect that I can show you that's important to note. If we change the scale type, the information that was saved previously will not work. So it doesn't fit with between layout and zoom. So when I hit run again, it will actually not notice the, the save that we set there. So it'll then disregard that save and it will create a new set of data according to the type of um, scale system. And that concludes the demonstration of the panel manager. Uh, we're looking forward to showing you some of the other layout managers and a few of other tools as soon as possible. Please give us as many comments and thoughts as you can. We want to make this the best tool that we can and we need your help for that. So please comment below. Thank you very much for your time. Cheers.